How's it going guys, John D here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install my new map update from Pixelmon Johto. So the first thing you're going to want to obviously do is go ahead and get yourself a copy of the map. So you're going to want to go to the link in the description, it is on CurseForge, and you can go ahead and download the latest version for 1.12.2. Next thing you're going to want to do is go to reforged.gg, that'll be linked in the description. That is the website for Pixelmon Reforged. And this map uses the version 7.0.6. So I will go ahead and download that. You can just wait for this to go away and then click skip on the top right. And then close out of the tab. And then right next to it is the recommended forge version. So we'll download that as well. So now we have all three of our necessary files. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and install forge double click on the jar, and then click install client. Make sure it is set to your .minecraft, and then click OK. Next, what you're gonna wanna do is go to your .minecraft folder. So one way you can do this is go to the start menu and then type in percentage, app data, percentage, and then click enter. And then go to .minecraft. And here I have a completely unmodified and also barely played version of Minecraft. If you do already have Pixelmon installed, I recommend creating a new folder specifically for Johto and then creating a new game profile, but I will show that in a bit. So go ahead and click new folder and then type in mods. Go into that. And then you're going to want to copy the Pixelmon jar into that. And then next, you're going to want to open the Pixelmon Johto zip file. In here, you have three folders. You're going to want to copy config and Pixelmon, and those are going to go directly into your .minecraft folder. Once these files are in your Minecraft folder, you can go ahead and go to saves and copy over Johto. Next, you can go ahead and launch Minecraft. So Forge created a profile, just double check that the numbers match what you downloaded and click play. And from here, we can go do single player, click on Jodo. The resource pack is automatically downloaded with the save file. And if you're playing in single player, there is no need to add a resource pack separately. And as you can see in my inventory, you have the radio, which is exactly what we want because if the resource pack didn't load, that would be a carrot on a stick. And that means we can also listen to the music and stuff in the map. That is loud. So most of the things on this wall are exactly what we just did. Um, one thing I recommend is turning off music altogether because this music will conflict with what is on your jukebox. And then also I recommend if you have changed your chunk distance from anything other than 12, I would recommend changing it back down just so things aren't going to be showing outside of the map. And then you have your configuration files and information of the map. So that's what you would do if that was the only Pixelmon map that you would be playing at all. If you're playing any other Pixelmon map, what I recommend doing is creating a different folder for your directory and then go into the launcher and then click installations, go to edit. And then specifically, I want you to change the game directory. So this map comes with several files that will not play well with other Pixelmon maps. So specifically it messes a lot with spawning and with drops, but there's also a bunch of different miscellaneous things that will go differently if you do end up going into just a survival Pixelmon world. And then from there, it's basically the same thing. So config and Pixelmon both go into the root folder of your new folder and I will create a saves folder. Johto goes in there. As well as that, you'll also need another mods folder. And you can copy Pixelmon into there. And as you can see, Johto is now in its own separate folder, even the configuration reset. So as you can see the folder name, Johto isolated configs. I just renamed it that but you can load in and make sure that none of your other maps are gonna be messed with. 
All right, and then for multiplayer, what you're gonna wanna do is create a new folder. I just made an example folder on my desktop. So these are all the exact same files that we were using before. This time you're gonna go to Forge Installer, and then you're going to click Install Server, and you're going to navigate to where you created your folder. So mine is on the desktop. Pixelmon Johto Server, open. And then go ahead and click OK. Now that Forge is created, we're gonna go ahead and create a new folder for mods. And then we'll copy the Pixelmon jar into there. Next, we're going to open up the Pixelmon Johto zip. And everything in here is actually formatted specifically for a server because that's how I developed the map. So you can go ahead and just copy all of these files directly into the server folder. I do recommend using the provided server.properties or at least modifying it to fit your needs. So in it specifically, you have configurations such as disabling the nether, you have adventure mode as the default, and then you have stuff like spawn monsters false, PVP false, all of that kind of things, and modify it as you will. Next, you're going to right click and then go to new text document, and then highlight everything and type in run.bat. Click OK to change the file extension. And then right click this and click edit. So I'm specifically pulling from the run bat file that is in my current server. So I'm just going to leave that in the description, copy that and paste it in there, and then just triple check that the numbers are the same. They are. Click save. And then you can go ahead and double click your run file. It'll immediately close. And then you'll need to open up a text file. So go ahead and right click eula.txt and click edit. And then change this to true. Hit save. And then go ahead and run your batch file again. And from here you can go ahead and start up your Minecraft client. If it comes up, click allow for Java to access your network. And then from here I'm just connecting to a server that is on my computer. So I can type in localhost, all one word, click done. And there it is. So getting people to connect to your server can be pretty complicated. Um, so what I recommend is following other tutorials specifically for your router if you want to port forward or use services like Hamachi. So as you can see, we currently do not have a resource pack. That is because it is not included in the server. But if you go to the Pixelmon zip file, and then go to Johto, Inside there is a resources.zip file that you can copy and then paste into your resource packs folder. Then you can go into options, resource packs, and add. And as you can see, we now have our radio and we can also hear the music. So yeah. So just as some troubleshooting tips, I would recommend if things are not going in the map as they should, I would recommend making sure things like your Java is updated. And I would also recommend making a custom game directory as that takes out a lot of variation from every other mod that would have ever installed a config into your .minecraft folder. So I hope that helps and I hope you guys have an awesome time enjoying the map. It'll be linked down in the description and I will see you guys next time.